الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings Alishan Mo here Today in this video we are going to take a look at the newest Ishin EV800D FPV video goggles These are 5.8 GSZ race band 40 channel diversity auto searching receivers video goggles they have 5 inch LCD screen and this time they also got a DVR not only that they also have a built in 7.4 volt 1200 milliamp battery to power this video goggles and of course you can also power the video goggles from an external lipo battery or external power source when you take it outside the box, you get yourself a video goggles, FPV video goggles right here in my hands. You get a patch antenna and a mushroom antenna. And this time you have got an Ishin Sting Pad patch antenna and a mushroom antenna right here. After that, you have a cable to power your video goggles from an external power source like a LiPo battery. It has a balance port for the LiPo battery and you have a cable for audio video in. After that, you have a wall outlet and an adapter to charge your built-in battery for your video goggles. And you have a user manual and not to forget, they have also provided you a nice bag to carry and store your goggles. Let me tell you the most important feature of the EV800D video goggles that many will consider as another plus point to purchase these video goggles. Now imagine if you're wearing glasses, you will have trouble wearing the goggles because the opening area here, which actually fits on your eyes, is kind of small compared to the Ishin VRD2 or Ishin VRD2 Pro video goggles. Now having this a smaller area to fit over your eyes, if you're wearing glasses, it can be really trouble. So not only the people who wear glasses, but also people who feel kind of dizzy when put on these goggles. This neat feature of this video goggles, as I said, it's going to be a plus point for you to consider purchasing these video goggles. And that is you can actually disconnect the LCD part of these video goggles from the lens part of the video goggles. And now you can mount this part on a tripod and it is simply an LCD screen for those who still prefer and love to watch and fly FPV via an LCD screen without having to have any lens or without having to have anything on their eyes. So this is a very very neat feature and this LCD has a very crisp crystal clear picture in it. But those who are used to the video goggles, well this is simply easy to put these two parts together, both of these modules together and you have yourself here a neat nice FPV video goggles. On top of the video goggles you will find these button there's a search button that means it will auto tune or auto search for the strongest signals and lock onto those signals. Then we have a reset button here and an LED light for you to show that the video goggles are on or off. Then we have a TF card slot we have a SRC menu on off switch you can select the channels or band using this button and then you can use this button to take a snapshot of your flight anytime you want and if you press and hold this button for two three seconds and release it will start recording the video using the DVR at the left side you have a port for you to provide an external battery or external power source and at the right side you have a video in or audio out port that is two in one port here Video goggles also have a very comfortable pad installed already, so it's pretty comfortable to wear the goggles on your face. After putting on the goggles, I still have light coming from top of my nose. Maybe my nose is not long enough, so it's my... So basically, it's not the goggles issue. It's my nose, which is very nice and cute. Uh, anyway, so there's a light coming from my nose side, and I can actually see three noses inside now the goggles are not turned on so in the reflection i can see three noses mm, nice nice and cute nose right here and this is how i look from the forwards and from the left all right so time for testing the goggles Kong tiny six is ready right here okay we got ourselves the signals here now i'm gonna turn on my ishi vrd2 pro All right, the goggles have locked on to the signal. You can see both goggles have signal. If I was a giant, I could have put both of these goggles, one on each eye, 
and get myself in a stereoscopic picture. Okay, they are recording and this one is recording as well. Let's fly. I have to fly very slowly. Just missed the camera. Whoa, why the quad is so fast? Goggles are sitting very nice and comfortable on my eyes. Picture quality is nice, though I'm getting a little bit of glitches, not too much. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.